हेलो एवरीबडी होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग गुड वॉम वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर वन मोर सिंधी डेलीकेसी सिंधी डिश विथ फ्रेश ग्रीन गार्लिक साई थूम वारी मच्छी विच इज फिश प्रिपेयर विथ ग्रीन गार्लिक लॉर्ड्स ऑफ गार्लिक गोज इन टू इट एंड सम स्पाइसेज इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल डिश इट्स रेडी इन जस्ट फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स सो लेट्स प्रिपेयर दिस साई थूम वारी मच्छी शेल वी गेट स्टार्ट इट इट्स अ ट्रीट फॉर सी फूड लवर्स I have taken sear fish, surmai machi, two large slices, which is about 350 grams. Wash the slices and marinate them with salt. One cup of fresh green garlic. Wash it well and chop it up. Oil as required. One tablespoon of whole wheat flour for the slurry. then we have green chilies i have taken one you may add more half teaspoon of turmeric powder salt to taste one teaspoon of cumin powder one teaspoon of coriander powder and one teaspoon of garam masala powder you can add as much as you like to your preference and then we also add some coriander leaves these are frozen coriander leaves I freeze them if you have not seen my video how to freeze them check it out I am sharing the link in the i button They really come handy especially in monsoon Now let's get started Take a flat bottom pan add about 5 to 6 tablespoons of oil as we are going to fry the fish first when the oil is hot add little bit of turmeric mix it well in the oil once it is hot dip in the fish slices you can take any fish available i prefer sear fish because it doesn't have too many bones it only has a center bone now carefully flip the slice to fry on the other side you can also cook the fish without frying directly but i prefer it half fried i always half fry the fish and then add it to the masala or the gravy now the this is also done we can remove the fish slices remove everything all the smaller bits also and using the same oil for cooking reduce the flame to low and then add the ingredients first the turmeric green chilies salt and the mentioned spice powders cumin powder coriander powder and garam masala garam masala i'm saving little for sprinkling towards the end you may increase or decrease the quantity of the spices to your liking and even the green chilies if you add more it will still 
taste very good but as we eat less spicy food i added only one green chili you could even crush the green chili and add if you like now add the fresh green garlic this is nice winter special when you don't have green garlic what i do is add lot of normal garlic crushed garlic and add coriander leaves but winter this green garlic special fish is really very delicious stir the masala now normally when we add dry spice powders we add little water but here since we are adding the fresh green garlic you don't have to add water because the moisture comes out from them add the coriander also at this stage coriander leaves if you have fresh coriander leaves you can add those since i didn't have them i'm adding the frozen ones now add the slurry dilute the wheat flour with little water and mix it to the masala i'm adding about 1 cup of water let it cook a bit once it starts boiling check the salt add if required now you can see i've added less turmeric in this this is the right amount to not add more than this now add the fried fish as it is already fried it will not take very long to cook simmer it after about 5 minutes you can check it it should be done by now sprinkle little garam masala on top and it's done so make and enjoy this with rotis or even this tastes very good with dodo also the bakri jowar bakris do give it a try and share the feedback the sindhi winter special thumawari machhi stay tuned for more recipes happy cooking if you are a new visitor to the channel do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications about the new uploads here are some videos from the archives do check them out we'll soon be back with another new recipe bye until then have a nice day